have everyone back in the game. Go ahead and swap back on over. Unless like they're actually starting their main match. Here we go. FTC versus Five Alive. Nice. Leviathan gets the first kill of the game on Leviathan. However, Chronic able to nade Leviathan right out of the gate on Bravo. Clearing it out for FTC. But the Five Alive to sneak onto Bravo as well. Max Max gets the kill onto Chaos Sound. Big play coming out for Five Alive early on. Meanwhile, FTC kind of slowly trying to catch it back around. Still held up on Bravo, so they can't quite catch it free. Chronic's trying to get the wall bank, but not able to land it. Ooh, Manic Pass catch out Torx, though. Not what they needed on that Charlie play. So he's still trying to spot someone underneath. Not able to see him over the... Yep, sees the muzzle flare, though. Last alive is silly. Gets the peek on a Manic Mouse. Nice shot. However, Kame Hadouken rotating to A while Silly rotates to C. Doing pretty quickly. He should rotate back as soon as we see the objective flash, which he said pushes to A. If a hollow caps up B for free, which means it'll be a 5v1 for Silly. And a Chronic will cap up Bravo. Player on his right. One player off up as well. Yep, just right. And just like that with a wall bang. With the AKS of all things. Silly's taken down. I have live won the round. One to zero. Okay, good, it's working. I had to check just in case. You never know. It's just a miss the piss around audio. Here's this time. Ooh. Uh. They have an interesting reload position there. So for weapons, we're seeing Leviathan running the MP7. Interesting combination. And Silly as well running the Mark 18 with an Obra one times. And yep, everybody else pretty much running either Irons or some kind of Cobra. Let's see about Manic Mouse. Actually, for Halo running the SVD with a two times Cobra, which is an uh, interesting combination. Trying to get the cross pick, but not able to see anybody running out the main street. Go ahead and go to Bravo. Let's see. Looks like Nightflag is pushing up pretty close. Well, he spots that player Bravo. No, not casting a nice pick on the Manic Mouse on that street. Ooh, did Nightflag spot that player up above? He looks like he did not. Torx literally right above him. I will spot that player underneath. You can see his foot barely in the bottom of the frame. Not quite. Oh, but nice. Runs right. Nightflag runs right into well, Nightflag's waits for the trap. I just want to get the counter chronic though on that middle road. Meanwhile, Kamehameha Hadouken still holding on. Pine's under holding on Bravo. Trying to keep it alive, but just like that, how takes him out. Leaving to just Leviathan and Chaos Sound on B, as well as Silly guarding A still, but kind of in the strange position. Nightflag's taking out Leviathan as well. Nightflag's actually captain Bravo. And wow, tries to get to the prone kill, but unlike that, unfortunately, it doesn't work for him. Silly, however, taking out Kamehameha Hadouken on C. Definitely an important one. Trying to clear out that street area. There is a player there. And he, he whipped. I don't know if he didn't see him or just did not shoot for some reason. Here's another player on his left. Gets the kill onto Chronic. That was kind of a strange shot there, if I'm being honest. But he does get the kill. He could just last alive Valhalla. All of a sudden, it really goes in favor of Five Alive. And just like that, 1v1. Guess we're trying to watch the road. Should probably go to C or B. Ooh, tries to get the shot up, but not able to land it onto Valhalla. Missing it once again. Yes, I'm looking to push C instead of trying to go for B. Not sure what Valhalla is doing, trying to decap C. Or why Chaos Sound is focusing on that Charlie player. He could go Bravo. Why is I don't know why he's pushing. This is not what you should be doing. You should be going for an objective to bring your team back versus trying to fight a 1v1 here. He's going for glory, but just like that, Valhalla able to win the clutch 1v1. Continuing the lead now 2-0 against FGC. I, I don't know what he was looking to try and do on Charlie there. But how the, like, clearing up Charlie at the end of the round there for holding up both objectives is a valid strategy. However, Chaos Sun trying to clear Charlie when he saw the player there. Could have gone Bravo. Had a, he was right here, he could just rotate the B real fast versus trying to rotate all the way to C and trying to kill the guy C. Not quite sure what the strategy on that one was. That's a flame or anything, but... Probably not the best play you could have made, but in any case, see what happens this round. Let's follow the pie designer. Let's see like he's playing Bravo once again. Knife legs. Actually, rather about Halo can trying to get a cross pick. Actually, knows about knife legs. Trying to pick with that AKS. No one on the street, however, falling for that. And actually, that knife legs getting onto Bravo for free. Pie designer gets the first kill onto Upper Shrine. Killing Manic Mouse. He's pushing Shrine pretty dangerously. Looks like they held up on Bravo. Leviathan trying to cap it. 
try to stop rather a knife like some Capcom Bravo once again for free. He has a nice wall bang, however, not where knife flex is anymore. But Holly gets the nice kill on the Torx, though. Definitely not what they needed. I guess the kill on the Chronic, though, on that upper area. Knife flex is saying Halleck killing behind his under as well. Chaos Sound killing knife flex on Bravo. Yes, I'm trying to clear it. Does he see the player from above? Now he does. Finally, Chaos Sound kills knife flex, leaving just silly. And Chaos Sound versus Valhalla and Kamehame Hadouken on Charlie. Kamehame. Two players outside. That just actually. Yeah, just silly. The two new players are guarding Charlie. Does Kamehame hear that run? He does. And just like that, nice little debate. And last alive is gonna be Chaos Sound. <laughs> silly gets the kill. Oh, actually, Silly last alive. Kamehame gets the kill. Silly kills the kill on the Kamehame Hadouken. Lots of names coming out. Valhalla deciding to cap up Bravo and Charlie. This is the West correct way of playing a 1v1 like this. However, uh, security will cap up Charlie, but in terms of having Bravo, it's gonna be easier for them to cap up Charlie than to try and cap up Alpha or Bravo. So capping B is gonna be the good time. Good call rather for that. 50 seconds left in the round, starting now. Security has the advantage of having two objectives, however, it's in the closer one instead of the farther one, so. From spawn, security's gonna have an easier time to defend. Valhalla's gonna try and block, but there's no way you're gonna get that in time. Valhalla actually runs right into the other player. Not able to kill them though, and just like that gets the one shot onto Silly. Definitely not good. I'm gonna be able to cap up uh, Charlie qu quite easily, however, there's gonna be have a. FT's gonna have a tough time on Bravo trying to cap it. Fighters gonna get the kill though onto Manic Mouse. No one else went Bravo, actually, Valhalla finally returning back to Bravo. Trying to defend it. Valhalla up above, trying to get the shot off. And nice, catches out Pi Designer pushing a little too close on Bravo. 13 seconds left in the round. Ooh, the Vithing just get the kill into Valhalla though, on Bravo. Meanwhile, Kamehameha Hadouken finally trying to get towards Bravo. No one actually looking to go Bravo. So they make it a free cap knife because they kill into Chaos Sound. Does he did not hear that player up above. Or rather, rotate down below. Just like that, they clear up Bravo and Charlie. Security out of position. Torque's right next to Charlie, but just not pushing it in time. And we run now in favor of Five Alive again. 3-0 against FGC. Interesting plays coming out from both teams. However, it's really these last second plays and rotations are what's going to be the ultimate game changer. And it's... Right now, FTC is just dropping the ball. That late game play. Their early play is actually pretty good. They're getting good control of things, but they're just not able to land their shots when they need it to at the very end. When it's all on the line, time's running out, they're just dropping the ball, ultimately. So the chronic from Spawn is getting picked early by uh, Pi Designer. Ooh, Leviathan gets a nice pick on about Halla on the street. Definitely the Leviathan's territory now. And all chronic looking to try and nade Bravo. Ooh, they have, they have no one's actually playing over there, so no one should be hit by that. Which they aren't. Pi Designer pushing through Shrine pretty dangerously. Meanwhile, Knife Legs trying to sneak near B. One play. Looks like security gets on to Bravo first. Pretty good spray, but however, not going to land the shot it needs to. There's actually a player in his view, but Torx able to spot Knife Legs before him. Still gets the kill on a Chronic, though. Good work. Manic Mouse able to sneak around towards Alpha. And Kamehame trying to hold around Charlie, but holding in this rather strange position. Chaos Sound looking for the long flank. Wait, anything going on there? FTC total control of Bravo. Meanwhile, Chaos Sound able to wall bang Kamehame there. That was a. Bit of a whiff, I'm being honest, but it was able to get the kill, so try to complain. Meanwhile, FTC kind of let Manic Mouse cap A for almost free. Leviathan, I don't know what they're waiting for. They have to get on the block, they're gonna let him cap, so. Cast sound also late to see. I'm not sure what they're waiting on there. Pi Designer looking to try and get some from spawn. Uh, there are two over there. You should hear them rotating up. Uh, Hal gets the kill though onto Torx on Bravo. Just like that, Pi Designer gets one, gets two, three, and almost four, but Chronic stops that. Right then and there, leaving last alive, Chronic, from spawn. You'll have to decap Bravo, which is going to be a tough one. Silly, however, actually capping up Alpha. And Chaos Sun finally getting onto Charlie. Leviathan trying to clear up Bravo. Trying to stop Chronic from getting that clutch cap. However, they had a lot on Bravo, so it's going to be a very, very long cap. And, wow. Uh, Chronic thought he got the kill onto Leviathan, but that light armor actually saved him. And finally, spraying his pistol, able to get the kill onto Chronic. Ending the round now in favor of FTC. The first round on the board, 1-3. Against Five Alive. This is, of course, Season 1, Division 2, Semifinals, Best of 3, Game 3. It is all on the line for both these teams. For a guaranteed spot in Division 1. They can do it. 
They're in with the real boys. Division 2 is a, a fantastic division. There's a lot of uh, good competition there. But Division 1 is on another whole level compared to Division 2. Let's see what happens here from Valhalla. Looking trying to crosspick that lower Bravo, lower Africa player, actually. Not able to spot it just yet. Looks like really passive play coming from FTC, kind of hanging up behind Shrine. That play's pushing very dangerously close, and Silly able to nade him out. Torx looking to wallbang someone who's already dead. Doesn't anybody know that? Ooh, shots coming out onto Upper Africa, but not able to land. Quite kill them. Mark, though, able to kill Pyrozander in Shrine. Not what they needed. Here, Charlie, again, Chaos on sneaking around. But I think it's the sniping kill onto Chronic. Nice shot. And. Wow. I mean, I mean, he eventually got the kill, but that was a lot of missed bullets from Chaos on killing Kamehameha Hadouken on Charlie. Meanwhile, Minkmouse is going for the rotate on Charlie, trying to stop Chaos Sound. And almost what's that timing. That was not very good. to see. However, Silly gets the kill into Valhalla, leaving last alive. Manic Mouse on C. Security has a lot to do on Bravo. They're going to double cap it up. So they will get the capture before Manic Mouse on Alpha. However, Manic Mouse should have a pretty easy time. It was over a minute 15 seconds, so you don't really need to double cap this like this. You can probably just send one to A. We'll have to see though. Yep, FTC gets the first capture. So we'll send a minute left. They are gonna be actually in the wait, Manic Mouse actually leaving Alpha to try and stop the spawn camp? And he gets one from spawn. I won't get the second one. There was one in the right outside. To give away his position. Find designer should probably hear where that is. Meanwhile, who is that Leviathan looking to try and cross pick? Gets a shot onto Manic Mouse, who could have probably capped up Alpha in that time that they were waiting around, and ends the round in favor of Five Alive. Actually, FTC rather. Two to three. Alright. View Bob. That's off. Camera animation. That's the, um. I think that's the sway effect that we see. Oh, it's still on, so... Hmm. Interesting. I usually leave all the fun graphic stuff on. Um, What is going on over there? Somebody's model is quite literally not loaded. Who is that? A pie designer. Oh, now we can see him. Oh, okay. I guess that's what they mean when they can't say... Or when they say, rather, that they can't see someone's player model. A little strange, but okay. Let's go ahead and follow Knife Legs from... Spawn. Trying to get a shot out to nowhere. Looks like FTC again playing heavy shrine kind of area. Ooh, nice. Chronic gets the kill on a pie designer on shrine. That's what they needed. Knife Flakes pushing dangerously close to Upper Africa. Still gets the kill on a Chronic. They needed. They get a little bit on Bravo. And just like that, Knife Flakes getting a nice flank on Leviathan. He weren't ready. Ooh, Valhalla does fall to Torx though on that pushing that rather the shrine street there. I was trying to spot that player on shrine. Not able to spot them. And wow, Torx getting the kill into Manic Mouse. Silly, however, getting knife legs, rotating out a little bit too far. Kamehame Hadouken gets the kill into Chaos Sound, trying to push Charlie again. That's alive, Kamehame Hadouken. Let's see where they go. Looks like he's taking his time going to Alpha. They're going to double cap Bravo. So it's going to be a 5v1 with lots of time to spare, a minute and a half. So they will have the advantage of having. Actually, not going to have the advantage since that. So. So they don't have uh, Alpha uncontested, they're going to have Charlie. That means they're going to be able to respawn Charlie. However, here comes the full enemy team onto Kamehame Hadouken. Not a bad spot to play. Nade's going to come out. Not going to land in the right spot, I think. Nope, it does not. First player comes in, he gets the kill in the first one. Onto Silly. FTC waiting for some reason. Nice, Kamehame Hadouken able to catch the clutch. Hard cast sound, getting a nice running shot onto Kamehame Hadouken. I don't know why they wait outside A for that long. Basically, let him have it for free. Torx able to get onto Charlie. Cap it up most of the way. Looks like he actually left it. Trying to catch up people rotating to see fast, but not able to nail the timing quite right. Torx seeing the pre fire not quite on where he wanted. Looks like Pyrozander trying to get spawns, but way, way, way too late. I don't know what he's wait waiting for. You know, Chronic on Bravo, capping it up for free. Knife Mouse looking to rotate. Knife Flakes is the kill on the cast sound on Alpha. Leviathan, oh, misses the shot on the Knife Flakes, who kills him as well. Knife Flakes is going ham right now. Meanwhile, Manic Mouse trying to catch out from spawn. Not able to see it. All done the knife legs on Alpha. Gonna clutch it. FTC double capping up Charlie. Ooh, nice. Manic Mouse able to get the kill on the scale sound. Kind of stealing knife legs kill, if anything. Trying to capture up Bravo. 
Both teams are alive. Well, silly. Meanwhile, it is uncontested on Bravo and Charlie, so it will go into tiebreaker mode. If Five Fall Out are able to get onto Alpha and cap it up, they will actually win the round based on that alone. But unfortunately, just like that, Knifelix gets the kill onto Alpha. Not the second one, though. He gets blocked just like that. Torx takes him out on Alpha. Now Chronic gets the kill onto Pi Designer. Leviathan doubled up on Bravo. Chronic takes him out, leaving it to just Torx alive on Alpha. They are capping up Alpha and Charlie right now. Once they capture both uncontested, they will win the round or decap Bravo. Which looks like they're opting to do. Torx, meanwhile, trying to rotate C to try and stop that decap. Should just be one player, so it should be an easy kill. And missing the timing, Valhalla able to take out Torx. Ending the round in favor of 5 Alive, 4 to 2. Just like that. Fantastic clutch by Kamehame Hadouken. FTC waiting outside of A after sending one player for like two or three seconds, right at the very end, right where they're about to cap. I don't know what that was trying to be or trying to do. Beats me, but that is what it is ultimately. And because of that, I will be able to get the capture on Alpha and then bounce back and forth and take that late game once again. Because the weapons we're seeing actually pretty much all FAL uses except for knife legs. So running the AKS 74U. Have an OG strat. Let's follow Leviathan actually. Ooh, almost gets the kill onto that player pushing straight, but not able to get the timing coy, right? It's a little too late. Looks like meanwhile, they're pushing heavy kind of C and B. Looks like Chronic. They doubled up Shrine this time, a little bit different. Because they have a player on the side. Not this time. Peasant gets the kill into Chronic though. Something a little bit different. Leviathan able to spot that play right in your round. This is the kill on the knife flex, pushing a little too fast. Valhalla gets the kill on a pie designer. Manic Mouse taking out Leviathan, Fahala taking out Silly as well, but Silly able to take out Fahala as a trade. Turks the kill to Manic Mouse. Last alive is going to be Kamehameha made Hadouken. Also Kamehameha. Kamehameha Hadouken. And, oh, KSN getting a nice shot onto Kamehameha Hadouken. Ending the round out in favor of FTC. 3 to 4. Wow. Bite size round there where you had everything kind of fall. Right into place, right at one moment. The biggest thing FTC needs to do is that late round, late time, last second, like where do I go, what do I do? Because right now 5 Alive is able to go, okay, we have this and this control, where should we go next? Right, I mean, it was a bit of a mistake on A, leaving it um, partially capped when they were trying to respawn. At that point, you might as well just stay alive and you can fight it. A is definitely solo capable. C, less so much. A B, heck no. But you can cap A for free. Well, you can cap A a lot easier of all the three objectives solo. So, waiting to try and kill people off. Probably not the smartest idea. FTC going the same strategy again. And so it's 5 Alive. Chronic getting the knee kill on the Pythoner in Shrine. Ooh, Valhalla missing his shot with that SVD. That's gotta hurt. Valhalla looking to try to pick long. Not quite able to get it. Chronic waiting in the wings. Torx, meanwhile, just waiting. Not gonna try and push it. But, and he's looking to go around. Okay. Meanwhile, FTC letting him cap up Bravo for free. Over they're not playing C to try and play an AC strat, so they're just being too passive right now. Playing very scared, but still able to catch out. Oh, finally catch out Chronic. Torx catching out Knife Legs on Bravo. Uh, Halle gets the, the kill onto Chaos Sound. Not what I would have expected. So they had a lot of Bravo cap for Insurgents, so Security's gonna have a tough time capping that back. Mr. Kamehame Hadouken able to sneak onto A. FTC just letting him cap for free, or they're actually going to go Charlie. They're going to respawn their own team, so he gets the kill into Valhalla. Last live is Kamehame Hadouken on Alpha. Let's see what happens. Currently, F FTC just kind of waiting in the wings to just kind of cap up Bravo and Charlie. Which means if they do cap up both, they will have enough to win the round at the end of time. However, there is still always a whole minute left to do so. Kamehame Hadouken. Uh, taking way too long to rotate to Charlie, so may as well try and go for the spawns, I guess. Meanwhile, coming from spawn, looks like they have, uh, 5 Alive able to push pretty quest pretty cleanly. Torx trying to catch up spawns by being just a second too late. Ooh, wow, Chronic getting that nice shot on the Torx. Feels bad, man. If he had an FAL, I probably would have killed him. My designer getting not able to see that kill onto Manic Mouse. Coming how can still holding an alpha for free. Just like that, Manic Mouse gets the kill on the cast sound. Leviathan cap cap Charlie. Here's the player running nearby, but Knifelix able to wall bang him through the uh, tin there. Leaving it to Jest. Silly last alive. 
Wow, Manic Mouse, you that's why you have another gun, but you didn't have one, so he is out. Come on, Hadouken, Knife Legs last on Five Alive, last alive is silly on Bravo. Trying to decap Bravo right now. Meanwhile, Kamehameha Hadouken, actually, actually Netflix are trying to cap Charlie. Kamehameha Hadouken catches out Silly, and just like that ends the round in favor of Five Alive 3. Other 5 to 3. In terms of outfits, this is think you know some people do kind of like that. We're seeing a pretty common kind of tan outfit from FTC, and Five Alive is running similar to before, pretty much all black, a little bit of reds here and there. Chronic running the dank purple, and of course Manic Mouse running the all white. I guess like a mouse makes sense. I guess. Let's go ahead and follow Torx. That's somebody. Did he's doing on that left shrine area? And FTC running the same kind of backward shrine area. Looking for the pushes. Five Alive able to cap up Bravo. Partially. Ooh, but Knife Legs is a nice nade kill onto Torix. They're not falling for that late shrine push anymore. Valhalla able to run through shrine pretty much for free. Ooh, still gets the kill though onto Knife Legs on Bravo. Definitely a good kill. Valhalla not able to spot that player underneath him. Ooh, Kesson does able to kill Manic Mouse though. Meanwhile. Actually, yeah, we're seeing Silly cap up most of Bravo, and Silly able to cap out Valhalla. Catch him out, rather. Held up on Bravo. Where's the player in the wings? Oh, Silly almost getting the wall bang onto Chronic there. Not quite in the right spot. Meanwhile, A is capping for free. Kesson looking to rotate to try and stop that. See what happens. Meanwhile, on Bravo, they're just held up. They're waiting for what's happening on Alpha to determine what to do. Kamehame should hear the player running to his right. See this nade come out. Not a bad nade throw. And just like that, Kamehame Hadouken running kill gets, gets nade. It's the kill, rather, onto Chaos Sound. However, Silly kills Chronic on Bravo, leading to a 1v1. Kamehame Hadouken is able to cap up Alpha for free, so 5 Live is going to have a 5v1 against Silly on Bravo. Silly may get this in time if he stays alive. He could be wall banged naded here, but ideally he's going to make it in time. He just needs to look in the right direction, which is not that direction. Wow, he barely made that. Barely making it alive. Nice. He'll catch out two, three, and Manic Mouse ending that killing spree from spawn. Fantastic work there. Playing right in the middle of the open. <laughs> Meanwhile, looks like FTC is going to push hard onto Kamehame Hadouken. He gets the first kill onto Torx with a nade kill, of all things. <laughs> Leviathan gets beamed by his teammate there, but he's going to get the kill onto Kamehame Hadouken on Alpha. Hard than catching out. Panic Mouse trying to rotate towards Alpha. And we last alive. Chronic on Bravo. 23 seconds in the round. Insurgents have control of Charlie uncontested. If they were to get Bravo and Charlie uncontested, they will run the round. However, they're not going to. FTC trying to block up Alpha. They're going to decap. They're actually going to cap up Alpha if they can. Python capping up A for free. Because nobody can actually push him. Meanwhile, Cast and Pine Designer trying to double cap Charlie. Pine Designer looking the wrong direction to try and spawn camp. And. Wow, Cast getting gun blocked by all the things. Feels bad, man. Nightflakes up to catch him out on Charlie. And nice. Pine Designer gets one kill on the Kamehameha Hadouken, but Leviathan. Rather, Chronic able to kill Pine Designer right after that. Leviathan gets to kill Knife Legs. And just like that, we're into overtime, or the tiebreaker mode, rather. 45 seconds left. Uh, Five Alive just has to decap Bravo, and just. Charlie, rather. And just like that, it goes in favor of Five Alive. 6 to 3. Just like that. Interesting plays coming out from both sides. Lots of clutches here and there, but a lot of it is just like letting them cap for free when they're last one up. And it's I it's a little bit perplexing to see because it's there's, they're controlling certain things really really well, but they're also missing a lot more things more of the time than they should be. So it's a little bit perplexed by what they're doing there. Let's follow Leviathan. Bring some cross picks, spawn, and gets nope he misses that one player. Like that, they get for free. He should be able to call out at least one player towards Charlie's side. Guess I'm looking to try and catch anybody out pushing a little too aggressively, but not gonna happen. Meanwhile, F or Five Alive rather playing very, very passive. Ooh, Nakiel almost able to land a knife legs, but not quite. Chronic does get the kill on the Pi Designer on Shrine. Like trying to go, Charlie, getting a little bit stuck there on the uh, objects. 
Oh, Valhalla looking to catch up somebody who isn't there yet. Torx still waiting on the street. In the wings, Chronic able to get onto Bravo. Or Chronic able to get Shrine, rather. Torx pushing up, trying to clear out. Let's see. Oh, nope, he does not. Kind of come on, to able to get the kill onto Kesson. Trying to push Charlie. Valhalla able, able to need Silly. Valhalla as well, needing Leviathan. Last alive is Torx. And just like that, five alive. Take the round and take the half. Seven to three. Just like that. So, FTC kind of dropping the ball so far. Really, they're missing a lot of kills and they're just kind of floundering right now, unfortunately. That will end the half, though. Could just be a side thing and maybe Five Lives is going to be the stronger side. Actually, or the FTC is going to be on the stronger side now and maybe get some kills that way. But currently, as it stands, it is just Five Alive dominating on almost every accord. Except a couple that are important ones. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to do that in spawn. I'm guessing they're not quite live just yet. I'm not supposed to uh, suicide in the waiting area here due to the possibility of getting rid of spawn. Spawns are always considered random, so you don't really do that. So hopefully, uh, I guess they're alive, so... Oops, not supposed to do that. Let's see how that plays out later on. Torx able to get the nade throw early on, but not able to quite land where it should. Where one... Would be, if I guess the risk go on a silly though, for the half. Netflix pushing very, very aggressive B right out of Link's playbook. Does he hear that player upper? Bravo, he does! Well, Leviathan able to catch him out. Chaos not able to get the kill on the Valhalla. Necmouth's pushing C fast, and he's able to get onto it for free. Meanwhile, Chronic, or rather Torx, looked to flank Shrine. Only back where he was last half. It's like, Surge is capping up Bravo for free. Leviathan on, blocking. Capping. Kamahame Hadouken able to get the kill on the Chaos Sound on Charlie. They're capping up most of Charlie. Meanwhile, Leviathan and Chaos Sound last alive. Let's see, that's Leviathan and Torx last alive. Ooh, nice. Leviathan able to catch him out. Chronic able to get the shot immediately afterward. On to Leviathan. And just like that, both teams capture. Both teams are back. However, security has the advantage of having one to three. Having rather Alpha and Charlie. So they will win at the end of time if no one is on contesting an objective, however. Kamehameha Hadouken about to get pushed by three players by FGC all around him. Meanwhile, Torx is the first kill on from spawns onto Valhalla. And Chronic taking out Torx, however. Pizerner gets the kill onto Chronic as well. What they needed. Kamehameha Hadouken held up on Charlie. I think it's the kill on the Manic Mouse. Uh, Kamehameha Hadouken a little late on that spot, but able to get the final kill onto Leviathan. Just two on. Shoots through the smoke onto Silly. Nice shot. Kassan last alive on Charlie. Trying to kill Kamehameha Hadouken. Not quite landing it. Meanwhile, Kamehame trying to reload as fast as he can. Capping for free. Trying to play a bit of a unique spot there. He's not going to expect somebody. However, they are capping up Bravo now. And Netflix is capping him back to try and make it a 1v5. Not sure if Kamehame is aware of this. So he's just getting wa basically waited for time. Which is a little too aggressively. Ooh, nice! Able to get the kill into Chaos Sound, though. Nice shot. Able to land it for 5 alive now. 8 to 3. Just like that, it is a absolute round fest for Five Alive right now. FTC are trying their best, but they're just losing these certain little spots. And it's going to be... It's going to take something great to change that right now. And it's not looking likely this late into the game. They already have a very, very large five-round lead ahead of FTC. Been fortunate to see. I was expecting it would be a little closer this game, but... This just doesn't have to be the case. Follow Leviathan from spawn. Oh, it's Bravo. Pushing very, very fast towards B. Meanwhile, FTC. Actually, 5 Live spreading out pretty wide. FTC again playing very, very passive. 5 Live have good, good control of the map. Uh, control of the map. Apologies. Looks like FTC getting a little bit of control onto Bravo. However, they are blocked by knife legs. Chronic gets the kill on the Pi Designer. Valhalla gets the kill on the Torx as well. Not what they needed. Yep, they're just holding on Charlie. Kamehameha Hadouken held up on C. And just like that, Chaos gets the kill on the first. Manic Mouse, but not on to Kamehameha Hadouken. Ooh, Valhalla gets the kill though on to Silly. So I'm looking to try and fight Kamehameha Hadouken. He's right underneath. They're both directly underneath each other. Both waiting for the right opportunity. And just like that, gets spotted out. 
unable to land the kill, but just like that, Chaos unable to push Kamehameha Hadouken on Charlie. Able to clear it up, leaving it to just Knife Legs and Chronic Last alive. I'm trying to watch above. That was Le I think it was Leviathan up there. Nice to get around up there. Yep, it is. And Chronic does not see that player on the left. Eventually he sees it. A little bit delayed there. But Knife Legs able to cap up Bravo, meaning it is a 5v2 now in favor of 5 Alive. Leviathan gets to kill the Knife Legs. A little too late, unfortunately. Leviathan. Looking to try and not be that player on Shrine. Way late on that one. Chronic gets the kill into Leviathan. That's live Chaos Sound for FGC. I have very, very dominant control here. Let's see what happens. 47 seconds, 47 seconds left in the round, just like that. Chronic spots out. Chaos Sound pushing a little too aggressive there. And continuing it now at 9 to 3. 5 Live versus FGC. This is, of course, Season 1, Division 2, Game 3 in its best of three, and is currently going heavily in favor of 5 Alive to take the series and go into the finals. FTC on the ropes, losing round after round, not looking great for FTC. However, this could be where 5 Alive get a little too risky and go, eh, whatever, we have a huge lead, we can throw a round or two, and then start making mistakes. So, FTC will still have a chance in this if they didn't call pause. Which, honestly, is not a bad idea to call a pause right now since they're on a huge losing streak. Sometimes that pause, even if you don't need it, it can be the decider between, you know, the continuous momentum over and over again. It's very, very easy to build up in Sandstorm. So it is, it makes sense to call it. However, if how it affects 5 Alive or if it even does is going to be interesting to see. In terms of the scoreboard, we are seeing pretty much Valhalla and Silly dropping 20 bombs of their own. And the rest of the team kind of getting a little bit here and there, but mostly those two going ham. Uh, least amount of kills is Torx with 9, which is still pretty good. I like you're going 0 and 12, which I've, I have done once personally. On the uh, proudest moment, but it did happen. That was also a long time ago. Anyway, a lot, of, a lot of objectives coming out from both sides, but 5 Alive getting a lot more. I mean, there's a couple here and there, but 5 Alive, nearly everybody having at least two objective captures. That is a very, very big advantage, being able to respawn your team like that. Even if they have more deaths, they're going to have more control and eventually win the round if you have two objectives controlled. Uncontested, so. Go ahead and see what's going on here. Okay, good. That's still working. I'm going to pick another song to put on and we'll be right back as soon as we're ready to go. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun And just like that little bit of a debate, we are back. Everybody is connected back in. Looks like there was a minor technical issue causing a player to crash. That is unfortunately part of the game and part of just online stuff, so not a big deal. However, we are back into it now. 
game sounds a lot quieter for some reason. Not sure what's going on there. Here we go. There we go. Now it is in full volume effect. Always makes it a lot better. Meanwhile, FTC looking to play a lot more passive. Actually, playing pretty common two, three C, two B. Interesting. That's coming out. Actually, FTC putting very, very aggressive towards Charlie's side. Make my sniper to get the kill on Leviathan. FTC finally looks like that little break really was a big help for him. Till so, meanwhile, flanking kind of outside of them, the common play area. As you can see, come out can able to get the kill onto a Leviathan. Meanwhile, Nightflix is killing Chaos out, and Kronk is killing the Torix. Just like that, uh, it was going in favor of FTC, and then 5 Live came in and just ruined it. And just like that, Pazlam will get the kill on the Chronic on Upper Shrine, being a free cap for FTC. However, 5 Live capping up Charlie pretty much handed, single handedly. Meanwhile, Silly trying to clear out Alpha. Kamehameha Hadouken kind of holding on there. Oh, Silly kind of NNating that, unfortunately. He's going to cap up Chief C for free. Meanwhile, Pazlam capping up Bravo for free. Silly trying to fight Kamehameha Hadouken there, the two new players. He hears him running out. Here's somebody running outside, but this might actually be himself. You know, Netflix captures up Charlie. And just like that, Silly getting the wall bank. Not quite. How do you can able to get the wall bank onto Silly? Finally, getting that alpha battle. You know, Pi Designer trying to get spawns. Not able to get it in time. Looking at the wrong area, unfortunately. Could be perfect for that. Netflix catching out one from spawn on Chaos Sound. Meanwhile, Leviathan pushing fast to B. Pi Designer gets the kill on a Chronic, though, on, on Bravo, rather. Ooh, Leviathan almost nails a shot. Not able to. Probably going to get the kill onto Valhalla. So again, it's all falling quiet. GC's trying to clear up Bravo. You have to call, call A or C at the end there. Manicons gets the kill. Probably designer. Leviathan shooting himself. Putting his own dead body where he died earlier in the round. Strange to see, but alright. Gets a nice dropping shot onto Manic Mouse. Nice shot, but not able to get it onto Knife Lakes, who has just been passively waiting very, very consistently on Charlie. There's now a 2v1 for Torix. Have to see how it plays out. Can he win this ace? Or well, this alpha play, rather. He does not, and unfortunately, it is goes into match point four, five alive. It's gonna be a tough one for them to claw back from. FTC now has to win seven rounds in a row to bring it into overtime, or five alive will take it into the finals. It all comes down to this. Will FGC win seven rounds in a row and bring the match into overtime? Or will Five Alive finally, after a long, tough battle in Game 2 and barely in Game 1, take it and go right into the finals with a guaranteed ticket into Division 1? We'll have to see. Let's go ahead and follow Pi Designer actually on Shrine. Looks like they're opting for, again, 3C, three, three 2B. It's 1, 2 Shrine. Now I'm actually playing Bravo. And again, five actually five are doing the same thing, playing that double bravo there. I'm not sure what he's doing, shooting at the wall. But no one is. Cast down sees one. Oh, finally gets his magic mouse, but I'm gonna get the other kill. Cast down actually getting picked up by Leviathan, pushing, pushing a little too dangerously there. Kamehameha Hadouken able to get the kill on the silly. Chronic gets the kill on the uh, Pi Designer on that upper shrine area. Works holding on, hearing the rotate from Chronic. No one spotted quite yet. Kamehameha Hadouken holding up on Alpha Leviathan. Waiting in the wings as well. Knife Lake's trying to get onto Charlie. And Sneak Pass is two guarding it. Minute 40. No one on an objective yet. Meanwhile. I'm sneaking behind. He did. Tork should be able to hear this. He spots the player. And gets the kill onto Chronic. Then we can just come Hama Hadouken and Knife Lake's last alive. Tork's trying to shoot Bravo for some reason. Castle gets the kill. Knife Lake's last alive. Gonna be Kamehame Hadouken. Does he see that head? He does. He gets the shot into Leviathan. Nice shot. That was a tough angle to spot from. Does he see that player, Charlie? I think he did eventually, but had to reload, unfortunately. The player is still waiting there. Chaos Sound waiting for the push. Missing the timing, unfortunately. And just like that, Kamehame Hadouken. Does he hear that? Oh, pre fire coming out, but not able to land it. Wow. Uh, Chaos Sound missing a lot of the shots he really need to land. Meanwhile, Torx is the cap on a Bravo. Five of, actually, he's actually still in this fight. I mean, how am I looking? Waiting for spawns over here, which is where they don't come out of. Not sure what that strategy even was. And just like that, at Chaos Sound getting the pick onto Kamehameha Hadouken. Bringing it in favor of FGC now. 4 to 10. Looks like the game is a little loud, so I'm going to turn that down just a little bit. I can, looks like I'm uh, getting beat out a little bit, so 
bring up, we'll bring it back to where it was. If you guys want it a little louder, let me know, and I'll, I'll bring it back. But I think, hopefully now you can hear me over the game. As I do talk, it's a little quiet. Let's go ahead and follow... Leviathan. He was playing a lot of Shrine. Actually, not a Shrine. He was playing that kind of... I guess that would be Barber upper windows towards Bravo. This is being C, so it's a little bit strange to see it as Bravo, but it is Bravo now. So that is a kind of Barber upper... Trying to get the clear range off. You should see one. He, he might have spotted one. Pushing very, very fast to be able to see that player. Gets a spray on a Manic Mouse, but Valhalla with a nice nade able to kill him off. Meanwhile, Nightflag is getting on to B once again. Valhalla. Yeah, Valhalla. Nice nade. And just like that, Pyzona gets the kill. Actually gets killed by Chronic on that upper shrine area. Five Alive getting the kill on the Torx, however. Not going in favor of FTC at all. Hala, nice, gets the pick on the castle, and last alive, last in the fight for FGC. Their final chances all right now, now on Silly. Silly gets the first kill on a Chronic. 1v3. It's all onto this. And just like that, it is GG. But Hala gets the last kill on a Silly, ending the game now, ending the series. 2 to 1. Final game 11 to 4. 5 alive versus FGC. GG's to both teams. Unfortunately, it is 5 alive who take it pretty single handedly over FGC in his final game on Summit East. And just like that, I think that will be the end of the casting today. Not too much going on. I believe there is a World Cup coming up very, very soon, which is going to be very, very interesting to see. And that is the end of the story, unfortunately, for today. So thanks, everybody, for watching. It's been fun. And we will see you guys next time once I find a song that's a little bit better than these current ones. And see us. Look for something a little bit uh, better. And the usual stuff, so not that. Oh. I like it when I mute it and it unmutes itself. Very, very nice. Let's go ahead and pick which one of these. Uh, here we go. This is a good one. Alright, here we go. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one.